Hey guys, uh, sorry it's been a while since I got a video up. I've had a couple things going on, but I'm back to working on my car. I watched the one from Tommy Shue the other day working on that vet. Believe me, Tommy, I know exactly how you feel. Uh, you just look at it and you think, man, where do I start? Uh, there's so much to do, it's just overwhelming. But what I found, at least part of the things that helped motivate me, I don't look at the overall how much there is to do. I just try to pick one spot and say, well, today I'm going to get this done. You know, the rest of it will take care of itself. And just like you did with your house, man, uh, you just start small, do one thing at a time, and like you said, before you know it, you're done. Uh, with that, I'm going to uh, turn you around and let you see kind of what I've got going on, and I'll uh, show you. Another good tip from Tommy Shue was to kind of look at all the panels where I'm putting my patches in. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but he said to put a light behind where I'm welding, and that will actually show any minute pinholes through the metal. So that way when I'm done, if no light shows through, that pretty much tells me I've got it welded solid. So I've got to finish welding that patch panel in right in front of the uh, passenger side quarter panel. I went ahead and ground all the glue off of the rear quarter panel where I had uh, used the uh, panel bond adhesive to put this quarter panel patch in. And I'm going to attempt to just go ahead now and uh, spot weld this together like uh, Matt, Slow SRT had recommended. And I'm going to uh, do that a little at a time, blow it off of the air hose to get it cool. And once it's done and I grind it slowly so I don't overheat it again and doesn't warp it, then I'll put a little bit of uh, filler over it and see how it looks. And then at that point, I'll decide if I really want to cut this thing out and redo it or not. But I did go ahead and grind every bit of the uh, adhesive that it squished out. I actually flanged the repair panel and put it up underneath the existing uh, sheet metal. So I think that if I go down through here, I've got room to get a nice good weld in there and still be below the surface of where the quarter panel is so that I can actually use a little bit of uh, body filler to bring it up flush. But I'm going to try that first because what happened, if I was going to cut this out of there, I would actually have to cut down below where the uh, seam is now and the patch panel would be close to being too small. So I'm going to give this a shot and put some filler on it and uh, prime it and then see what kind of shrink back I get and then make the determination after that to see what it looks like. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to uh, turn you off for a few minutes and once I get everything welded up and tacked in, I'll turn you back on. Okay guys, I'm back. I got this thing tack welded in there pretty good. It took a long time. I'd tack one, blow it off with the air hose to keep it cool to the touch, tack another one, do it again. After I got so many of them, I went through and ground them real slowly, again using the air hose to uh, make sure I didn't overheat the metal. Uh, one thing I did figure out, that adhesive, that panel bonding adhesive, really smells whenever you set it on fire with those tack welds. Uh, that's kind of what the little smoke trails are that you see going up the panel. I put electrical tape on either side of the joint, so that way it's kind of a heat indicator, and just in case while I was tacking it got too hot, if I saw the tape start to melt, I knew I needed to back off of it, but I never got it anywhere close to that. I kept putting my hand on it after every single tack well just to make sure I didn't get it too overheated. And it looks like it's relatively straight. It doesn't seem like it's really moved any as far as what I can tell from when I glued it to now with the tack welds. Of course, I've still got to go back and fill in all these gaps between the uh, tack welds until it's one solid weld all the way up, but that's going to take a while. Every time after I finish uh, doing a row, I grind them off relatively smooth and then go back and do them again. I also went through and uh, got this all welded back in. Still having one little problem with a hole. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. I'm probably going to have to take that piece of copper and stick behind that because I think that's a thin spot. I keep burning through on the uh, original metal on the car. But all the rest of them I got welded up pretty good. Where I've got this welded down through here, and this is actually a body seam, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut that groove back in there so that it simulates 
the uh, body line on the car. I thought about uh, welding the whole thing up, and I thought, well, that'd look really weird because you've got that line right there beneath the door continuing on back. So I'd say what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take a, a cutoff wheel and just uh, cut that groove back in there. I've got it welded two or three times, so I'm pretty sure I've got it deep enough to where it shouldn't come apart. I've also got the uh, inside edges welded and ground down. Uh, a couple places on the fender lip. Uh, I've still got to grind that one. There was a little spot right there that uh, had some rust in it, so I ground it out and I just basically filled it back up with the weld. And here's the edge of this. That's just a reflection. Like I say, I've still got a couple of small holes that I need to fill in with weld, but I'm going real slow so as I make sure I don't warp anything. On the back side of this piece, where it uh, came around the tail light panel, I had to cut this thing to length and basically do some pie cuts, real small ones, so that I could fold that over and intact weld them. I've still got to go back and fill all those in with weld, but I'm waiting until I get this panel down through here done first. But that looks pretty straight, and I'm thinking that's going to give me enough room where that's stair-stepped or flanged to uh, put some body filler back in it. Okay. Well, that was uh, a couple hours worth of work just doing all this. I was probably taking it a little bit longer than I should have, but I wanted to make real sure that I cooled that off after every single one so I didn't warp that up. I did not want that quarter panel to look like an ocean wave. So I'm going to turn this back off, and I'll go ahead and download this for you so you guys can see this this evening, and uh, I'll see you guys later.